Hey everybody, it's the uh, Ride Share Reseller, and I'm back. Haven't done a video in a while, but we're gonna do one today. Well, I have no excuses, number one, as to why I haven't done videos. I should be doing more. Uh, hopefully, again, I'm gonna get into it and get it going, but just so much other stuff going on. I just have the utmost respect for my friend, the Commonwealth Picker. I have no idea how that guy does it, but he, him and there's some others, but I always seem to point to him because he's got a family, he's got work, and just so much going on and he manages to do it so i should have no excuse so anyhow i'm going to show you the back of the hall video some good stuff today i'm going to show you one absolutely stellar fantastic item and a bunch of just other nice nice scores it was a good day and i'm going to discuss uh a little bit about how you need to build a network of friends within your community of pickers believe it or not I mean, 99.9% of, of them are going to be good people. They're going to try and help you. Uh, it, it's this thing between pickers, especially where I'm at, is, is what did you find? You know, what great find did you, did you find? That kind of thing. There's this competition kind of that way. And it's a healthy competition. It's, it's just fun. It's like, hey, you know, this is what I got. This is what you got. That kind of thing. But also, if you build these relationships, you're going to find out what they look for and what you look for may not match up. So they may find something for you, point you there, and you may find something for them and point them there. So these things are what you're trying to build is relationships. And today, one of my uh, picker friends, uh, Robert, uh, I have had never given him my phone number. I thought I had, but I had not. And I just happened to uh, walk in and the big item was pointed out to me so anyhow long story short i'm gonna i have been debating how i want to proceed do i really want to kick this in high gear for full time or kind of keep doing what i'm doing i'm doing less uber and lyft i will tell you that i'm doing less but i'm still doing about three hours a day only about three three to four maybe and i'm using that as my because I just love the morning hours. I get out and work, drop my packages off again. Everybody who knows me knows that I drop my packages in the morning. And then I try to work my way. I'm in the South Bay, so I try to work up to the North Bay of the Bay Area. And then I can come back down and do all my picking. And one of my favorite stores, I just never get to it. Because it's kind of in the middle to the middle part of where, the ride. I need to get to a city called Redwood City which is the halfway point between basically San Francisco and where I'm at. Sometimes I get there. Now, I would love to go to this store every day, but again, you gotta pay for parking, you gotta do a few things, and it's a little tricky uh, just to drive because it's with the traffic, so it's a little tougher. So I like to try to get an Uber ride or Lyft ride to that location, and today that happened. So it was absolutely perfect. I knew my friend Robert was going to be in there because he works the savers a lot all day long. He really does. He's a really nice guy. So I walked in and Robert corralled me almost instantly for this one item. And he said, you've got to buy it. And, you know, you've, you've got to buy it. And he pulled me over to it. I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I will show you. And it was a fantastic deal. So that little thing. So he said, hey, I didn't have your phone number. I thought I did. So we exchanged numbers again. So then I have him on here. He goes, I'm going to let you know when the, when the items you like come, you know, that kind of thing. Because uh, if you're up here, come get them. So you got to build these networks because they're going to teach you. I've got other people who have taught me many things. My friend Brian, he teaches me a lot. Roger's an older guy. He teaches me some other things. I have a friend named Hiram. He teaches me silver and other things and I miss a lot of things to trust me and I have my friend Charlie Charlie's a fantastic clothes guy and he's just a great guy and uh, he helps out in the clothing area so you can see I've got all these pickers and they all are different so we have to focus on those things we have to build our relationships understand what they're looking for what you're looking for and you build a network just like anything in business you're building that network and you will find that you'll get them more items because those people will help you out same thing with the stores build relationships with the clerks with those people uh, they will maybe bring out an extra bin or something for you when they see that you're there or or point you in the right direction of an item uh, i remember this one little uh goodwill worker she's a um, she's a nice girl she's just tricky to work she's very independent in the store 
and she pointed me to these four lithographs and I really didn't look at them. I, I looked at them, but I couldn't find them. Well, lo and behold, I didn't pick them up. And who picked them up? But my friend Brian in the afternoon. And then he showed me pictures of what they were worth, you know, and they were worth like a hundred bucks each. And I kicked myself. The little girl, the girl at the Goodwill pointed me to them and I just couldn't figure out the name. You know, you can't figure out the name and so forth. And so that was a situation where I missed it. And my friend Brian got it and shot me a picture and I knew I was done. I thought, oh man, what did I, what did I miss? And they were like $7 each. So again, you just got to build these relationships with everybody that you're coming in contact with and you're going to do better. All right. So let's get out here. Let's take a look at what I got and uh, show you those items. All right. See you in a second. All right, guys, here we go. I am going to show you what I got from today's haul. Uh, there's some here. I'm going to stop, edit, and then bring the other stuff forward because there's some more in my back seat. So anyhow, I'm going to start off with the item that I told you about my friend telling me to come get. You obviously probably can tell by now what it is. There you go. I'm going to show you the name, Excobar, and I'm going to try and get in there and show you the price that I paid. Ooh, let me spin it. Okay. There, hopefully you can see it. It's $59.99. All right. Now, the kicker is that Tuesdays are 30% off for seniors. So I paid $42 for that particular unit. And I'll lay the receipts out and show you what, how much I bought today, what it cost me, so you can see the total. Because I only made really three, three purchases today. One from uh, Goodwill and then one from Savers. No, two from Savers and one from Goodwill. But anyhow, this here, guys, look at this thing. This, and I powered it up. It powers up. That's all I can do. But this is a very expensive commercial-grade espresso coffee, coffee machine. And just for parts, if you want to sell it for parts, it's seven hundred dollars. You'll get about a thousand dollars for it if it works, and I'm pretty sure it works. This is Silicon Valley in a nutshell. This probably came out of uh, came out of a, uh, a business, and they're just not going to deal with it anymore. And that's what it is. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to work. These things are, you know, uh, generally speaking, pretty good. But if not, It'll be for parts only, and uh, I'll still make about 700 bucks on that, so $700. All right, over here, let's start way in the back. And again, this whole section here was all savers, That's another savers purchase, so I got 30% off the prices that you're seeing. And this is a Apple, you'll see it, Apple uh, Airport Extender Wi-Fi. That is going to get me about $50, 50, $50 on that. This here is, is a company uh, called Osmo, and this is uh, made for the iPad. And I got the base and the coding kit, and they were $10 total, so paid about seven with my discount. I'm gonna bundle it together, and this will get me about a minimum of 50, right in that range for both pieces, okay? Down here, uh, the cord's in the way. I got it out of my way. Is a uh, set of Bose, uh, Bose headphones. There's a comp, one that just sold for $79, and I paid $5.99. Here's a Wii, and this is, not this is not a Wii, this is a GameCube. This was a GameCube, and this was $2.99. Not gonna get much, but even with no cord and testing, about 20 bucks and then shipping. So I'll still make some money on that. I got it for that reason, because it was $2 minus, you know, basically I paid two bucks. And then over here, we have a uh, PlayStation 3. This is a 120 gigabyte model. This is called the Slimline, I guess. Uh, there's a comp on here without the cords and so forth for about 80 bucks. I'll be happy if I make, you know, 50 on this particular item. So 50 and I'd be happy. I'll throw the controller in. And a uh, nice little find. PS3s are good. PS2s maybe not so good. But PS3s, they're still okay to sell. All right, I'm going to move some things around and uh, show you a couple of other items, all right? All right, guys, uh, I'll show you a couple of pieces of clothing that I got. Uh, again, this one today, this is, oh, I'm going to go start here. Let's start here. A North Face for $4.99, a jacket, uh, $30 or so for that jacket. That's what I'll get. Here's the big winner. This is what you want to look for. 
Grateful Dead by Dragonfly. What is unique about this is it's sleeveless. It's meant to have no sleeves, okay? So this is the Grateful Dead, and it's one of their branded names. And what is really unique, I wish I could show you, it's windy out here. I gotta my act together. There we go, let me see if we can do it that way. Okay, there's the back of it, that's better. So that's a Grateful Dead, sleeveless. If you go online and you type in Grateful Dead Dragonfly, you're going to notice that these shirts can go anywhere from $100 to $150. And I paid $9.49 minus my discount, so about six bucks. This, there is no comp for the short, for the sleeveless, as you can see. I'm thinking that I'm gonna pick up and sell this item probably for minimum of 150 and I think it will sell. What's really cool too about it is you gotta know, some of them are, are unique for a reason. That red rose is from their album, American Beauty, which is probably their most popular album. So that should be a really, really good find. All right, I'm gonna stop again, show you a couple more items. All right, here's two more items. Still have a couple more to show you, but this is, this is cool, I like these. This was $10, but it was a tag that was 50% off. So I got these for five. These are Platinum FUBU, and they have the Fat Albert. Not a huge money maker, but I thought they're just so cool with the embroidery. 30 to $40 on these, but you know, five bucks turning into 30 or 40. You know, great, great example of uh, finding some vintage clothing and uh, really nice. I love that embroidery. Look at that embroidery. And over here, this is again networking. My friend Brian last night was debating on this item. Again, he doesn't like to deal with heavy or bulky items. This is not that heavy or that bulky, but it's kind of in between, but he still doesn't want to deal with it. So I just said, just leave it. If it's there tomorrow, I'll pick it up. It is brand new. It's a Craftsman Industrial Dovetail fixture. I paid $12.09, and this particular item is brand new, like I said. Not a lot of sales on it, but I'm confident I can get $99 out of this and make money. So he passed it up, but he, by my networking with him, he then told me about it and said, hey, if it's there, boom. And it was there, so I grabbed it. All right, I got a couple more to show you. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna show you the receipts, just so you can see what I paid. I made, I only made three purchases from three stores. Obviously, the two savers were the, mo the most, and I bought the one uh, industrial jig from Goodwill. So the Goodwill, I paid 10.88. The, here's, here is the um, Redwood City. You can see I paid $61.41. And those are the deals there. And then over in this saver, I paid 43. So I got 61, 43, and 10. Let's call it $112. So everything that you saw from me today, I paid $110 for all of it, all right? And I've got two more items that I wanna show you just in the back here, I'll go over those right now. All right, here is the final two items. This here is basically uh, some uh, metal storage cabinets that I have here. These metal storage cabinets, I uh, um, sell these all the time. Uh, this was a Savers buy, and the price is on here, $4.99 minus 30%. One of these is a slide viewer cabinet. These here I will bundle all together, and those will get me about 50 to $70 in that range for this particular brand, somewhere around there. And then I got one cool item back here. I just had to get it. Everybody commented at it as I, I had it at Savers. It's like a nativity. It's baby Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And a little lantern, it moves. And uh, it's kind. Of, it's, not, it's like a resin. It's, it's just very interesting. I couldn't really find any comps, but I just liked it so much, and there's no chips on it, unless I don't chip it now. Uh, I'm trying to show you the bottom. There at the bottom, I paid five bucks for it, five dollars, and uh, it's very, very cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to get, but anywhere between 50 and 100 is what I'm expecting to get for it. I just think it's very, very cool, and from the reactions I got at Savers, um, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, it will sell. All right, guys. Hey. Hopefully I'll do some more videos for you. Here you go. This was the end. There's the big winner. 
don't forget those espresso machines. You know them when you see them. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.